I made a mistake. Yes, I did. I made a mistake. With these cages. The cage is just this cage right behind me, this rabbit cage behind me. Now, when I started, I gave the project to a carpenter. I would um, show a short video of so the time he was constructing the cage. I took a short video and some photos. I'm going to show you that in a bit. Eh? Now, what is the mistake I'm talking about? Now, the way this cage is made, it's made in such a way that I can't house any other thing but rabbits in this cage, and it's not very, very proof of anything except the sunshine, and of course, ensuring that the poop just falls off to the nest next to deck. Now, the mistake is the way the guy made this cage. The space between this cage and the bottom one, and where the poop is caught, you know, where the pee and the poop is caught, is too short for you to clean. So the problem I usually have every time I want to clean this cage is this space. I can't really just reach in with the short stuff or whatever, like my trowel, to clean out the poop, except I use a long stick, or I have to use water to flush it from this point, you know, because the space is also next, so it's easy to flush out from this point, but then you don't know how much of water can get to the rabbit, which is not very comfortable for them. So, that is the mistake I made for this case. Like, you can imagine, the one below is even worse. So, I can't clean from the front. I have to go to the back and clean from the back, because that is where you have a little bit of space to clean from. So, if I want to clean the poop in front here, I have to use water to flush it out which is hey if there's no water <laughs> i'm in trouble <laughs> so you can imagine how that feels so that is that when you want to make your cage make sure that you don't leave the job for the carpenter to just do if you the carpenter doesn't fully understand the project make sure you're there and supervise the whole process to make sure you get exactly what you want now, after he did it, imagine I was the one that had to um, buy extra zinc to make the windows and install the zinc and nail the zinc. I even got injured, you know, in the process of doing that. And there was a time I also got injured trying to clean the cage. Like, look at Stinger, yeah? look at that. It's healed up right now. There's just a bit of scar there. See, yeah. I got injured while right cleaning. So if you don't want to be in my situation and just, you know, regret giving your cage to someone else to make for you, you know, you have to be present to supervise the whole process. If not, you go cry like me. But I, I'm not crying though. <laughs> I've got some carpentry skills, so I did some fixing. That's why it's even looking this good. So the next cage I'm going to build I'm gonna do it myself. I'm going to do it myself, myself. Now I got, I got um some nets that I'm going to start with. Yeah, I got some nets. Yeah, yeah. So this is not this particular one. Now this is Boko Haram big uh, holes. Even though it's not the most ideal place to build. Now we see my money reach me now that I can carry on but it will it will do. It will do but if you've got the money don't buy this net. Don't use this one. Use this one. And um, like from what I have in that other cage you can use um, this one too. Yeah. This one, this one's got bigger holes. I don't need to measure the hole because it's is it um, how many inches by what inches, whatever, whatever you call it. But you can see. So you can use this one and that one. That's it here. As you can see, this side and this side. That's the best uh, net you can use for your rabbit cage. Okay. So uh, I guess that's it for the video. Maybe another day I'll do 
uh, more videos on how I'm doing some, you know, getting my greenery going. <laughs> I love plant life growing all around me. Before, man, this whole place was just, it was just <laughs> nothing to write about. I got to stop going right now. Uh, but rats are disturbing me. Rats are disturbing me. The, the, um, the peppers that I'm growing, peppers that I'm growing are getting eaten up. I don't know if you can see this. But look at this. Rats are eating them up. And this this is really really annoying when you you know after how many months you just come to check up on your plants and then you see that rats are dealing with your plants man that can be really very 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 painful. One of the things I did was buy rat traps. I've not really really had the mind to bait them to kill them but I guess they are really, really becoming very annoying. So I have to take action. Start getting bait and set the things up and get rid of them as much as I can. I hope that works. If you have any other way to, you know, deal with rat infestation in your garden, please kindly drop it in the comments. I'll appreciate it. All right. I'm not a pro rabbit farmer yet. I'm still learning. So as I learn, I'm going to drop information so that it can help um, whoever needs the help. Now, one of the things I want to do, if you want to, uh, rather, I want to say before I end this video, if you want to start a rabbit farm, make sure you are starting small. Like, <laughs> you cannot underestimate the importance of starting small. Starting small gives you an idea how you can manage your growth because once you start with so many rabbits you, you you don't even it becomes a lot of work for you to adjust to as a starter so the best thing you can do is start with at least a couple of rabbits let's say three four five you know six max so that you can easily get feed to feed them and then as you increase you get an idea of how much feed they consume as you go so you don't have issues trying to cater for all of them so don't get too many rabbits when you're starting make sure you just start you know just a couple of rabbits and you're good to go and grow as time goes on you can have a million naira and then you think you just want to put the whole million naira into rabbit you, you might have a lot of trouble so start small i don't know if i'm gonna have to cut them off anyway see you guys <laughs>